I'm Evil Zvox, here to make tech easier and more fun, and in this month's sponsored Plex tutorial, we're doing how to set up live TV and DVR in Plex in under five minutes. A lot of discussion has been happening recently due to CBS going dark on AT&T, DirecTV, and Uverse networks in over a dozen markets due to licensing negotiation deals. Meanwhile, if you have an over-the-air tuner, you can actually stream it for free and even add it to your Plex library. So we're going to be covering how to set that up right now. As always, I do have affiliate links to Plex in the description below that gives a small kickback to the channel and lets them know that I sent you so we can keep doing these sponsored videos. Use them if you want to sign up for free, get a Plex Pass for yourself, which is required for this feature. I have a video explaining the differences in features linked in the video description, as well as if you want to gift a Plex Pass to someone else. To set up live TV and DVR, you will need a couple things. You will need Plex Pass, of course, as I said, you will need an, a TV tuner of some sort. I prefer the HD Home Run tuners. They seem to work the best with Plex and are very easy to set up. I specifically have the HD Home Run Extend. However, they do have newer tuners these days that I'll have linked in the description below just so you can check out for yourself. And you will need an antenna of some sort. And I just have a basic one by one antenna. That's the brand, not the capability uh, that I picked up on Amazon for just like 15 bucks and it lets you pull in two channels at one time. They do have more tuners and antennas that let you pull in up to like four channels and things like that, or you could set up multiple at once. I'm using just this one because we have a small house. First step is to plug in your HD Home Run tuner to power to Ethernet to your network and connect the coaxial or cable attachment from your powered antenna to connect it to the over-the-air signals. Once you have power and the antenna hooked up to the HD Home Run unit, Connect your Ethernet cable and wait for the green light. Then open up a web browser on the um, on a computer on the same network and go to my.hdhomerun.com and it will detect your HD Home Run hardware. And if not, it will get you set up with the steps that you need. However, you can see here it detects HD Home Run Extend. If you've never set up the HD Home Run device on your system, you can download one of the many HD Home Run apps for your various devices to proceed with the setup. There is one available in the Windows Store for Windows 10. Go ahead and click Install. Once installed, go ahead and launch the HD Home Run app. It will detect and connect and set up your Home Run device and start playing it. Once you confirm it's working, time to switch over to your Plex Media Server. Log into the Plex server you wish to configure for this live TV and DVR setup. Uh, since I only really do direct play, I'm actually using a Synology DS1817 Plus uh, NAS device as my server. Go ahead and head over to your server settings. Go down to Live TV and DVR under the Manage category. Set up Plex DVR. It should detect your HD Home Run device. If not, you can find the IP address from your HD Home Run Connect web page and enter that manually. It detects my extend. Hit Continue. You can choose whether it's connected to your cable box or antenna directly. We are using over the hair antenna and it will show you a list of channels. If this doesn't look right, you can hit scan channels and proceed again. Also choose your country Hit continue. Choose your language and your zip code to get the electronic guide for the channels. Click continue. It's going to search the channels and your location to get the best guide for you. And then you can choose between available guides for channels in your area, which is actually pretty cool. I'm going to leave it on the default and you can actually uncheck channels that you don't wish to show up. So if there's some weird duplicates you don't want or channels you just outright don't want or some ones that don't actually get selected because they're not working properly with your tuner, you can manage from here. So you can see there's a couple duplicate channels here which aren't actually registering with my tuner. And that's fine. I don't need those. For example, the movies channel, it's detected in the AT&T guide or the over the air guide, not AT&T, but it's not available from my tuner. So that's fine. So this allows you to match up what channels the tuner detects with what channels the guide is giving you. Go ahead and choose everything and hit continue. Setup is now complete. It's going to be initializing and you can view your guide and everything in the normal Plex sidebar. So give this a little bit of time to finish and go ahead and click view guide. It's building it. You can watch the progress. Moving forward, this will be available under a live TV and DVR section in the sidebar of your Plex media library or on the homepage in the TV view. 
Once complete, congrats, you have successfully set up a Plex live TV and DVR service for free in terms of subscription costs. You only had to pay for the HD home run device and the antenna, and you can continue watching all of your favorite local channels, even in HD. Browse the guide, schedule recordings, fill in your shows. It automatically detects all the met metadata for the seasons and everything else. You also now have the built-in option to remove commercials automatically or attempt to remove it automatically. However, this requires a lot of CPU power and I'm not doing so on my server because my server is on a NAS and it doesn't have a lot of power, but this is available to you in the advanced options when you click record. And you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this Plex tutorial. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe for more tech education. Consider using one of my Plex affiliate links to let them know I sent you and continue supporting the channel. I'm Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and I will see you in the next video.